Mark Perlman, Chief Executive Officer of Ocean State Job Lot. We started doing business in Rhode Island in the late 70s. There were three of us. Today we have four and a half thousand associates in the Northeast. We employ 900 Rhode Islanders, and our highest paying jobs are all in Rhode Island. The legislation being discussed today is of great concern to my company. Third party deliveries to job lot are approximately 7,000 trucks in and out of Quonset. These are the trucks that we're talking about, those out-of-state people that should pay for everything. Well, they're not going to pay for it. They're going to charge me because they're bringing my freight from somewhere else to my warehouse. Joblot's own fleet creates 16,000 truck trips in and out of our warehouse. If all of these trucks were to pay a $40 toll, the total tax on our company would be in the range of a million dollars. We ship merchandise to Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, and of course, Rhode Island. It's important to understand that the total of all the trucks that our fleet pays in all of these states, including the George Washington Bridge, which, by the way, only cost $124 if you choose to drive during their pr prime time, but it's about $30, $40 less if you go over the bridge when we do. The entire charge from all of these tolls is $160,000 a year. And that includes 50 or 60 of our district managers that are running around in cars because we can't separate the car tolls from the truck. So let's assume that it's $150,000 a year, and we're now talking about a Rhode Island tax that would be in the range of a million dollars. We prefer to do business locally, so we give the Rhode Island vendor 90 percent of the business and the Massachusetts vendor 10 percent of the business. If we shift, if we put an extra burden on the Rhode Island manufacturer because his product has to leave the state, then we're simply going to purchase the product in Massachusetts and distribute it to New Hampshire, Vermont, New Jersey, New York, because it doesn't have to go through Rhode Island gantries. When we do this, it's important to note that we're the largest customer from this Rhode Island manufacturer, and they're very good people. When we stop buying the product, they won't need as many people to manufacture the product and put it on our trucks. So people that have a job are going to lose their job. They're going to be receiving unemployment insurance, and some of them will probably end up on welfare. So instead of paying Rhode Island income tax, they'll be taking monies from funds that are less desirable. Our governor is aware that job lot was prepared to begin a 500,000 square foot, $50 million expansion to our warehouse. It would make it the largest building in the state of Rhode Island. This project is on hold because we don't understand what the final legislation would look like, and we need clarity in order to proceed. Job Lot is the largest donator of food in the Northeast. Our company and the people that shop in our stores, we donate enough money to fill a hundred tractor trailers with food that we send to food banks in all the communities that we operate. Certainly, 
It couldn't be the intent of this committee to charge us $4,000 to give away the food. Think about it. We fill up a truck with food, send it to Vermont, and pay a fee for the right to give away food.